Here we go. All right. I'm talking to Courtney and Chloe today. So tell people out there about the plot of your movie called Cryptic. Oh, the plot of the movie. Um, yes. <laughs> you've seen it, right? <laughs> I've seen the movie. I have seen the movie. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'm just, I, the plot, obviously, uh, it's, it's quite a strange film, and it's quite easy to maybe give spoilers. So I'll stick to uh, more like the, the line of, uh, you know, it's a yeah. sexual cycle thriller about a woman's search oh. for a missing monster hunter <sighs> and her growing realization that she's in this inescapably linked to the creature being pursued. Um, and if I give it more of a personal touch, I'd say it's like a, it's a it's a time bending creature feature road movie. Okay, I it's I I hear you like to condense it or to kind of like make it literal is maybe even the wrong question. How do you describe the vibe? I would say the vibe is uh, strange, ambiguous, unsettling, and fun. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good stuff. Um. Was it was it tricky? Like we're just talking about it, and it's kind of hard to unpackage. Maybe uh, was it tricky to work on sort of something w with this expressive nature? Um, yeah, I mean, it was it it was definitely tricky in the sense that um, it's it's such an ambiguous film, and we don't we don't give any any answers to anybody, uh, which was obviously a hard like a choice that a hard choice that I made, mm. um, and so. It was um it was always making finding the line between you know not giving the audience spoon feeding the audience not giving them the answers but at the same time not alienating them right so how do you how do you keep them still wanting to watch it how do you keep this film something that's engaging but at the same time you're still not actually giving them anything all right uh, and if you had to compare this movie to another one so someone could have like a frame of reference of maybe something what they're in for if you could think of maybe a couple of movies or a few movies. Um, uh, my references, films that I thought of, you know, that, that were big kind of references for me were Don't Look Now. Um, oh, nice. And, and, uh, Donnie Darko. Right. And, and Vertigo. Ooh. How, how so, Vertigo, how does Vertigo fit in? Well, the man who, who wants to turn this woman into his, the, the love of his life, right? Judy becomes Madeline. Um, uh, you know, and, uh, not to give too much away, but you know, um, Morgan and and his relationship with his wife Barb, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's good stuff. Um, what is your favorite thing about this film? The mucus. The mucus. <laughs> Where were you, <laughs> Chloe? Um, I think my favorite thing is probably the 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 monster. Right. <laughs> the monster. Yeah. But that's also the mucus, uh, you know, the two are very closely linked. So, yeah. <laughs> was this... And the forest as well. The forest is... A... How would you explain uh, performing in this film? How was it different or how was it similar to other stuff you've done before? Um, it was really unique in certain ways, but ultimately, mm -hmm. like, I, I felt like the character, despite being quite uh, mysterious in the mm -hmm. script did kind of leap off the page and, and it's really a unique challenge. I remember my agent kind of saying, it's sort of, it's this one part, but it's also like this other part. And it's like, and then I was like, okay, so it's like two people interesting. But then I realized it was like the, the sort of main part. And so I was like, Christ, how am I? So I, when am I this person? When am I this person? So you're playing two people in one, which is a really unique thing to do. You know, you, you just don't get asked to do that kind of thing very often. And so finding the differentiation between them, um, at what point that became important, when do they become, you know, is this one woman finding different parts of herself in different space-time continuums, or is this two people completely? So all of these questions are really interesting to wrestle with just live on set when you're kind of trying to figure it out. Um, nice. And how would you do that? How would you prepare? How would you wrestle? with these these uh maybe fragmented or conflicting things yeah i i tend to just take each scene as it comes and like i learn i prepare a huge amount just very basic things like learning mm -hmm. it inside out um i'm a big believer in that and and so that you've got you can just go anywhere that you're asked to go yeah. um and respond to direction as well as possible <laughs> um, <laughs> was well, like, like a trancy <laughs> effect you did, you on the good. set Sorry? I said she did good. She responded well. Okay. Responded. <laughs> All right. That's good. Was there some yeah, like crazy like... feel of the set? Was there, uh, did, it, did it ever feel like a dream at times? 
Yeah, definitely. There's certainly some of the, certainly the domestic environments in the film are really strange and creepy yeah. and have this particular quality to them that was just give me so, so many clues about what this person's going through. Um, yeah, like when you find her own house, the character, the K that we meet at the beginning, and, you know, when we are later in the film in, in Morgan's house, you know, there's just so, there's just so many like excite, And then the forest itself is also just like this wild thing. And um, yeah, and, and obviously the forest in Canada contain dangerous creatures. And so, right. you know, <laughs> and, and that's just, like, you know, cryptids or, or real. And so there's a kind of real sense of like hugeness as somebody who's not from North America, like, that in and of itself is like a, a, a amazing the amount of space and the fact that if you go in yeah. and you get lost you're not coming out so you can die you, know, you will likely you die, die. Yeah. <laughs> that in and of itself is like such a you know was such a gift of a you know setting where are you from yeah. i'm from uh, scotland edinburgh in scotland oh okay 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 my middle name is Mackenzie. i know that i'm ah, the it doesn't, doesn't really count but it kind of counts uh, right, it's <laughs> yeah <laughs> I yeah. Anyways, um, where so you shot in Canada? So some, some stuff in Canada. Where in Canada? British Columbia. We shot um around um in and around a town called Hope, BC. Okay. Um, this is a great town. It's my favorite town in Canada. One of my favorite places in Canada. So um, it was always been my dream to like. I've already done photo projects there, so it was my dream oh. to shoot there. So I was really happy. It was a a nice little, a nice little sort of um thing to happen that we actually did shoot there. Nice. Um. And are you guys excited for the the South by Southwest premiere? Are you guys gonna be there? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, oh. it's gonna be really lovely to share the film with with an audience. And yeah, and give oh yes. Uh, have you either of you been to South by Southwest before? Is this a fun one? No, nope. I've, I've never been yet. No, nope. it's so huge. It's, it's it looks immense. So it's hard to get your head around it. But yeah, it looks amazing. And what's yeah. kind of fun about it is there's various things. It's not all cinema. You can go to a concert. You could do a panel. You could do. You could have a very filled day. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah we stuff. were just talking about that. How how to fill our schedule. How to <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and the thing about festivals is you you can never get it all done. Whatever you want to do, there's no way it's happening. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Um. So. This is like a been a very helpful conversation because I I did see the movie yesterday and um it kind of like washed over me it was very bewildering and very interesting but to <laughs> sort of break it down of, uh, on how it was it was experienced while making is is very helpful um do you want some idea or feeling to be taken away from this work um I don't I don't have anything specific about it um I'm I'm really happy I to leaving basically the audience with whatever they feel like. I'm sure some will be, I hope some will be, you know, um, enthralled and sort of, you know, um, uh, and magnetized. And I'm sure some people will, will probably like, you know, jump ship as soon as possible. So, um, uh -huh. which is absolutely fine. You know, it's, it's, it's a, it's an open-ended film. So I'm really not interested actually. And I mean, I, I, ideally probably people go away for going, I have no idea what the hell just happened, but I was entertained the whole time. That's maybe my, my ideal. I yeah. like that. That's good. What about you, Chloe? Uh, yeah, just more of that, really. I, 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 um, I think it's great being part of something that really doesn't doesn't feel like it has an agenda of any kind uh -huh. beyond, you know, entertaining and enthralling. Is like that's such a good word word for it. And um, and I think I hope people will be emotionally engaged by parts of it, but equally like repulsed by parts of it but also fascinated and you know confused and all of those things you know i think yeah it's good fun <laughs> <laughs> absolutely what what is your favorite thing about the film industry about the seen... film industry yes oh, the film industry. I hear that. Oh, film industry. go ahead i i don't i don't know the film industry it's my first film so chloe you can answer this um okay. i love I love um, I love sets generally, like crews, um, and like the feeling of being on this, like collaboration. I suppose that that particular collaboration on a set, because a set is a really technical, universal thing that's kind of the same wherever you go. A set okay. functions in pretty much the same way, but the variables within that 
are kind of like so excited. So I kind of, and this really did feel because we were sort of a little band on the road kind of, you know, and, and it was it was a lot of hard work and people really threw everything into this and didn't sleep a lot. They were just working, you know? So yeah. I, you find so much joy in that. I So I love actual film sets. That's yeah, very well true. said. I like that. So Courtney, Chloe, thanks very much for your time. What is next for you? Um, hopefully, um, hopefully another film for me, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm working currently on a Netflix show called Department Q, um, which I'm shooting in Scotland at the moment. So yeah. We'll we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. And thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Michael.